Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we're in my daughter Madeline's home. We're going to be decluttering and organizing her small walk-in pantry. She has a family of five and needs more pantry space than what she has here. So we will need to be creative so that we can utilize the available space well. She is also an avid cook and needs the pantry to be set up in a way that makes sense to her. Her husband also has things in here that need to be corralled together so that he has easier access to them. And they also have three little girls that need an area to get their snacks. They recently added shelves to the hall coat closet to put back stock into. Remember I told you in my entry closet declutter and organize video that the majority of Texans repurpose their coat closets because most of us only own one or two coats anyways. Some of these things will go into her main pantry and some of those pantry items will be relocated here. She ordered the acrylic containers off of Amazon. I like these acrylic containers because they're clear and you can see what's in them and also they act as drawers. If something is in the back of the container, you can quickly get to it by pulling out the container to reach it. This acrylic container will be used to hold all of her teas. She has a smaller one that she's using now, but her tea collection has grown. This will look nice sitting on her pantry shelf, but it would also look beautiful on a counter next to your favorite teapot. Okay, she and I are pulling things out and getting as much out onto the counters as we can. Then we can start dividing things into categories. The counter space is getting full, so we're going to go ahead and clean off the top shelves so that we can move some of the products back into here, and that will free up some of the counter space. We're going to be using this shelf liner for some of the shelves. Now we don't want to use the liner on any of the shelves that we need the containers to slide because this liner makes it very difficult to slide containers in and out. She is using this divided acrylic container to hold all of her packets. Remember that the products that I show you, I link down in my description box so that you can refer to them as needed. I'm in the hall storage closet and I'm going to pull out some of the things to put into her pantry. This would be a good time to talk about expectations. Oftentimes when you watch these YouTube videos, you're seeing a Pinterest perfect pantry. But at further look, that pantry isn't functional. It depends on what your expectations are and whether you want a beautiful pantry that will wow everyone who walks into it, or would you rather have a highly functional pantry where the placement of items makes sense to you. I personally prefer a functional pantry, but as you remember in my pantry organization, I did both functional and wow. And that's what we're gonna do here in Madeline's pantry. 
We are going to incorporate into it everything that she needs for it to be functional. And the bins will throw in the pretty factor. I just never want my viewers to walk away feeling less than because they aren't able to purchase all the fancy things that YouTubers are using in their pantry reveals. When I was a young mom, I organized my pantry into bins that I made out of boxes and that I wrapped with contact paper. You do not have to have all the new items to accomplish a functional and pretty pantry. I have found that if you organize it with all the labels facing forward and if you decant some of the bulky packages into glass containers, and they can be the containers that you save from pasta sauces and pickles, you can set up a very nice pantry just with these very few things. I am repurposing these gray storage containers to put all of her husband's things into. These containers will make it easy for him to know where the things are. I'm pretty sure she bought these storage containers from Target. has two of these turntables here in the pantry. They free up so much space and everything looks nice on them. Again, you will see that I'm facing all the labels out to make everything feel more organized. Madeline and Waverly are over here filling up the new acrylic drawers with her teas. I'm going to use some of these jars to decant some of those bulky items that take up so much space. I oftentimes hear people say that they don't like to decant because they can't keep up with the expiration date of what's in the jar. Well, you can write on the top of the jar the expiration date, or you can put a sticker on the bottom of the jar. But in Madeline's case, she cooks so much that none of this food has time to expire. So we're just going to be decanting into the jars.
As you can see, we're now using some of the pickle and sauce jars that she's been saving. She has a Cricut and could easily add labels to any of these jars if she wants to. She has these hanging baskets on the bottom of her shelf that she puts her potatoes and onions into. Oh, leave it to Madeline, the youngest child of four. She thought she was going to be able to surprise me while editing this video with a little dance when I walk out of the room. Well, the surprise is on her when she sees that her dance made it into the video. We are going to hang up this grocery bag storage container onto the wall. You may remember that I have one of these in my pantry. But first we need to figure out which area we're going to put this one and then we can hang it there. We're going to use this container to hold some of the kids' snacks. I'm going to show you around real quick. We still have to get the cans and the jars into the pantry, but we are almost done. Remember that I told you that you can make a pantry look organized by facing all the labels in the same direction. It also helps to put all like items together. Okay, so let's take a quick look at what the pantry looked like before. Remember, this pantry is for a family of five, and everything in here they need and they use. We just had to come up with a better system to organize it.
Now we have all the cans and jars that she'll be using in the next couple of weeks over in this pantry instead of the overflow closet. Other than the trash bags, this whole bottom shelf belongs to the kids for all of their snacks. This first middle shelf is where she keeps all of her teas and coffees. And this shelf is for her broths for her soups. And she has up here her pasta and pasta sauces. Over here on this turntable is where she keeps all her rices. Down here is where she keeps all her seeds and the things that she puts in her oatmeal. I hope that this video has given you motivation to declutter and organize your pantry. If it has, would you please give me a big thumbs up? It lets YouTube know that you think that I'm doing a good job. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so that you get reminded every time I post a new video. At the end of this video, I'll link my pantry video that I did over at my house a few weeks ago. If you haven't seen that, head on over so that you can get more motivation. We'll see you again on Wednesday for part two of my zone cleaning series. Until I see you then, stay blessed my friends.